Welcome back to my series of Rocky Reviews, Lean Back Up to Creed 2 this November, and we are going to talk about Rocky 2. Yesterday, I did my review of Predators, I mean Rocky, the original. This one is the sequel to Rocky, but this time is not directed by John G. Avisel. This film stars Sylvester Stallone, who writes and directs this movie, and this is the last installment in the series to be distributed by United Artists. So let's talk about the plot of this um, this great sequel. Now, basically, what happens is all the, we see Rocky Balboa. He may have lost his high-profile bout with the cocky world champion Apollo Creed while still being a working-class Philadelphia boxer. His Cinderella story has caught the national sports media's attention, and he now has the opportunity to capitalize on his sudden fame. Meanwhile, Creed is still smarting from nearly losing to some Palooka no one has ever heard of, and arrogantly prods his newfound nemesis into getting back into the ring. Now this is how you do a freaking awesome sequel to Rocky. This is great. Not only you got Sylvester Stallone writing and directing this, Sylvester Stallone still brings his A game here, and the performance of him is amazing here. I really love his performance here. I love the story that they decide to go along with. The story is really amazing here. I really love the story. I think the story is fantastic. I think the story is really phenomenal here. And it's great. It's pretty fantastic here. I love the fact that the media wants to get in on Rocky's success story. And basically Rocky is basically enjoying his fame. Now, Carl Weathers, I love his, I like his situation here. And I thought his performance was really good. And Rocky's still great. Now, 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 in this one, Adrian has a kid in this movie. And you see the whole thing where Adrian's something. And I think that was a really great moment. This movie is only two hours, so it goes by quick. That's the same length as Justice League. See, you can tell the story in just two under two hours you don't have to be two and a half hours all the time because two and a half hours doesn't always work trust me i know i have there are there have been some times where i do feel the length of a three two and a half hour long to three and a half hour long movie but it's very minimum Acting in the movie besides Carl Weathers and Sylvester Stallone is great. So Leah Shire is still great. I really enjoy the brother again. I like I like the way the fight scenes were shot. I love the fight scenes. I really enjoy the amazing stuff that goes on here and I really think that th those moments were really great and I applaud Sylvester Stallone for directing this movie he he did great with the direction here and The, the boxing scenes. You can't go and talk about a Rocky movie without the boxing scenes. The scenes of boxing are great. They're fantastic. I really love the, the boxing sequences. They're, it's, they're fun. 
and I really enjoy how, what this movie was doing. It was telling a different story. It wasn't a retread the first one. It was it was a very entertaining film, and for that, I have to compliment this movie a little bit. No, not just a little bit, a lot. This is easily my fifth favorite in the series. Is is great, you know. So, I'm gonna give Ro I'm gonna give Rocky two. Rocky two will get easily get once again a better than Vampire Academy. I I enjoyed it just as much as the first one. We haven't got to my favorite one, but we we gonna get there. So let me know what you guys think about Rocky down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Rocky two, and I will catch you guys tomorrow for either tomorrow for or later. Rock. Ro Rocky 3. I'll catch you guys soon for Rocky 3.